friends. So today I'll be reading to you one of my favorite Dr. Seuss novels. It's called Oh, The Places You'll Go. It's a really good book and really makes you think. And Dr. Seuss is known for his rhyming words. So really listen out for his rhymes that he's making because sometimes he uses real words and sometimes he makes up the words. I got this book from my local library. So if you ever want to read any more Dr. Seuss books or any books, make sure to check out your library. So let's get reading. I'm going to open up to the first page. Congratulations! Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Keep an eye out for our little main character as he goes on because he's going to be in all the pictures. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care, and some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Our main character is leaving town. Out there, things can happen, and frequently do, to people as brainy and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. You'll go right along, because you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all of the rest. Our main character is right up in that corner. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, so, but sadly it's true that bang ups and hang ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on, you'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and chances are then you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could go sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare stay out? Do you dare go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you either turn left or right? Or right in three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find. For a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space headed, I fear, towards a most useless place, a waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a butter break, 
for a string of pearls or a pair of pants, a wig with curls or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all the waiting and staying. You'll find the bright place where the boom bands are playing. With banners flip flapping, once more you'll ride high. Ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go, there is fun to be had, done. There are points to be scored, there are games to be won. And the magical thing you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame! You'll be famous as famous can be, with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win, because you'll play against you. All alone! Whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, through the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the hagen cracks howl. Onward of many a frightening creep. Though your arms may get sore, and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you will hike far, and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft. And never forget to mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Candy, you will move mountains. So be your name, Bo Bomb or Bixie B or Bray, or Mordici, Ali, Van Ali, O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. And that's the end of my book. Thank you guys for being such great listeners. And then stay tuned to the end of this video and I will give you some craft ideas that will go with the story we just read. Thank you so much! Hello again, friends. So I have some enrichment activities that we can do with our book that we just read that I thought I would share with you. These are a few crafts you can do to go with all the places you'll go. So I thought that you could do a picture of yourself or your family in 10 years, since the book is going through the places our main character is going in the years of his life. You can also draw a picture of an imaginary country like Dr. Seuss did. You can see the pictures in our book just don't really look like where we live, right? Dr. Seuss kind of made up these settings for us, so I want you guys to draw an imaginary country too. You can also create a maze or draw a path through it to see the places we'll go. And you can even draw our main character up there if you wanted to. You can draw and color a place you would like to go, or you can draw a wishing tree and have several branches going off. Um, and on these branches, you can draw or write some goals or hopes you have for your future. Remember that these goals can be short-term goals, meaning they can happen today, or maybe next week, or even in a year, or they can be long-term goals, like what you want to be in the future, or where you want to live in the future. Um, and lastly, you can make a postcard about a place you really want to go, and you can write a nice message to your families and friends or your teachers on that postcard. Happy reading!